Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Savita. I'm sure that all of us are interested to see how other people have furnished their home and try to imbibe those ideas. Personally, I like to watch a home tour videos and try to borrow some unique and creative thoughts. Since one of my subscriber has requested for a home tour video of my own house, I have decided to make this video. So today's video, I'm going to show you around my small entryway and how I have furnished it. I'm an ethnic and antique lover, but don't like to spend money on it. So I repurpose old and broken pieces in and around and try to give them ethnic look. All my decors are DIYs or things that I purchased from Goodwill, thrift store, Facebook marketplace, and I repurposed. I also don't hesitate to take things from curbside or near the dumpster where people keep things aside for others to use it. Most people shy away from doing this, but I believe in second chances and second lives. One man's trash is another man's treasure. Besides, I think this is my way of doing a bit towards environment. This is a town home and we share the side walls with neighbors. It is 1,600 square feet, two-level, three-bedroom house. Since the passage at the main entrance is narrow, I have not done much in the front door. On the left side, I have this DIY signboard and these birds perched on a piece of wooden branch hung over the wall. When we go for vacations to beaches or national parks, I don't buy souvenirs but pick up driftwoods and pebble rocks. I have used one such driftwood for this hanging. I bought these birds from Dollar Tree shop and glued them to the wood using hot glue. These planters on the sides were picked from near a dumpster. We got these elephant as a gift. It was originally in grey and I have painted them orange. These two pebbles are from beaches. On the right side down below, this is again a driftwood collected from a beach. I drilled small holes on it and planted few succulents. Gifts are nice memories to retain and I never like to throw them away. My brother had gifted these masks 12 years ago for the apartment that we lived in India. As we enter inside, you can see a lot of things around. Some of you may like it and some may think that it is too cluttered. But here, every piece has a story behind it. I got this earthen sun from my brother. This wall mounted stand for this laughing Buddha was made from an old chapati rolling board. This wooden board had been in use for many years at my in-laws house and I even carried it here and used it for a while after moving to the US. But sometimes later, it developed a crack and broke into two pieces. Since it was in the family for so many years, I didn't feel like throwing it away. I attached pieces of plywood and using wood glue and hung it on the wall by attaching sawtooth hook on the back. This mirrored hand candle holder was purchased from Goodwill. It was in golden shade and I painted it blue and distressed it to give antique finish. This little brass lamp was my mother-in-law's gift from her mother. Take a guess about this holder. Yes, it was made from a broken agarbati stand. This is a cup holder for holding toothbrushes screwed to the stand. This was actually my husband's idea. I picked a bunch of IKEA picture frames near a dumpster. I have used one of them and a greeting card that we got for the housewarming for my, from my sister-in-law. This half moon table was purchased from Facebook marketplace. This lantern is from Goodwill. Initially, this was in silver with a transparent glass. I have removed the glass and spray painted it gold and used glass paint for the glasses. This candle holder also from Goodwill. This flower vase is from thrift store and the small stand is from garage sale. I have spray painted them using rustoleum copper color and added a distressed look for this vase. Down below this Buddha is from Dollar Tree and I have painted it. This brass stand is from Goodwill and I got this brass bowl from my mother. This Mexican pot was a gift.
Further on the right side is another setup opposite to the staircase. This shelf was a gift from one of our friends for the apartment in India. These small Ganesha idols and elephant collections are also from India. 12 years ago during a road trip from Bangalore to Mysore, I bought these clay figurines from a small vendor on a mobile car outside a restaurant. I have painted them to give a brass look. If you want to buy candle holders, I strongly recommend you to pay a visit to Goodwill or thrift stores. I got this beautiful wooden candle holders with wonderful motifs from Goodwill. I like indoor plants. The snake plant is very good air purifier and is very easy to maintain. This planter is from near a dumpster and was in a dark shade. I have painted it to look colorful. This Buddha fountain was from Garat Sale. On the bottom shelf, you can see this artificial orchid plant on a wood stump. This is also placed on a piece of driftwood collected from a beach site. This hanging lantern was given by my sister-in-law in India. For the time being, I have placed it here but still searching a good place to hang it. Before going further, I want to talk about this table. I have built this table from scratch using a poster bed frame. For the legs, I have used the post of the bed frame and made this table top. I have added one more shelf on the bottom and painted it. Since this entryway is very narrow, I wanted a narrow and tall table. But due to this structure, the table was not sturdy. So I have screwed this table to the wall. This brass hanging was made using some parts of chandelier that I got it for free from Craigslist. I will show you what I did with other parts of the chandelier later. I bought this small step shelf on this brass figurines from a flea market. These bells are also gift from sister in law. I got this copper tumbler from my elder sister. Since she was not using, I got them from her. Luckily, I got this metal frame from Goodwill that was exactly fitting this tumbler. This wall hanging was actually bought in a flea market. The plates were having some writings on it. Since it was not going well with my other decor, I have decor posted a Kerala mural on the plates. If you come further inside here is a small area before the living room. I found this beautiful wooden wall panel in Facebook marketplace. I really liked it and wanted to own it. Thanks to my husband, we traveled 75 miles to pick this. I bought this ethnic look bench from Craigslist 3 years ago. It was looking new when I bought it. So I didn't do any work on it. But now I feel it needs a nice coat of wood stain and a finishing coat. I will upload the video when I do that. My table is an antique piece bought from Goodwill. The small statue is from my mother-in-law. This Nadraja statue and the brass candle holder are also from Goodwill. I made this wooden tray and stuck the peel and stick vinyl tile on it. I bought this Ganesha Diya in an exhibition from India. I made this wooden frame for it to go on this yellow wall. My favorite color is yellow so I have painted all the walls around here yellow. It is a very bright and a happy color. Opposite to this, I have placed a ladder shelf to display some of my brass collection. This chime is from India. The shelf was the first piece I purchased for the purpose of decorating the house after coming to US. I got this from a flea market. Some of the brass items displayed here are bought from Goodwill and some are from my mom. I made this topiary and this art using styrofoam balls and this poorly was gifted by my elder sister. There is a narrow passage here that leads to the bathroom, pantry and kitchen. 
I made the sun mirror using skewers and a dollar tree mirror. I have also framed some embroidered cuttings. 16 years ago, my second sister gifted me a dress material. After I made the dress, some leftover materials had this wonderful embroider and I don't want to throw it away. I made the cutout and framed it. Now I don't have that outfit anymore but still have the memories of it. Along the staircase wall, there are some wall hangings. I love Buddha as the face radiates peace. I made this wall hanging using aluminium foil. This type of art is called metal embossing. These two face masks were gifted by my sister-in-law. She purchased these during a visit to India. They were in earthen color and I have painted them with colors. I made this Krishna string work by bending aluminium strings. I have learned this embossing technique and the string work from my sister-in-law in India. If you are looking for a wooden frame, Goodwill and Thrift Store are the best option. This was the first embossing I made and framed for memory. This wall hanging was gifted by one of the friends. It is actually a particular art form from Maizu made from stones. I think I have covered most of the pieces that I have in my entryway. Hope this video gives you some idea on what to buy, where to buy and how to use it to decorate your home. I will see you next week with one more interesting video. Before leaving, please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for notification. Thanks for watching.